Today marks a somber anniversary in the South Texas town of Uvalde. One year ago today, an 18 year old armed with a semi automatic rifle stormed into an elementary school and killed 19 children and two teachers while responding officers waited more than an hour to confront the gunman. NBC's Wendy Woolfolk was there on that horrific day and is back in Uvalde today. 21 butterflies for the innocent lives lost one year ago today in Uvalde. There's no moving. There's no moving on. Time hasn't healed the wounds for the families of 19 children and two teachers who were gunned down during end of school year celebrations at Robb Elementary. Those decorations still hanging, haunting reminders of what happened here. And for those who survived, finally, the courage to return. My emotions were um, sad, but then I, I, I always remember the good times that I had with them. And so that's why I, I'm ready to do this. In the town plaza, the memorial still standing, a place where families mark their first holidays and special occasions without their loved ones. And colorful murals with their images brighten many walls in a town that's experienced such darkness. I've never experienced anything as sad or as gut-wrenching, heartbreaking as all of that's gone on. Despite the indescribable loss and pain, each remembers their last moment together. She blew a kiss back to me. That was the last thing, last thing I saw from her. Those precious memories held tight in a community that is still suffering. Wendy Wolfolk, NBC News, Uvalde, Texas. Among the several memorial events taking place in the city to commemorate the shooting, as you saw, one of them was that butterfly release at St. Philip's Episcopal Church. It took place at 1132 a.m., the moment when gunshots were first heard inside the classrooms. And it was followed by a toll of bells and prayers on the steps of the church at 1249, the time the classroom was breached by law enforcement. We'll be right back.